This master board was made out of the gel press prints we created in episode 6, utilizing a wax crayon as a resist. I tore those images, or the backgrounds that we made, glued them onto my master board, and added some gesso, some stamping, a little bit of stenciling, and created these artist trading cards. So I hope you enjoy this process. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And of course, the notification bell lets you know when I add some additional content. So to get started with this master board, I just simply took the gel press images that we created utilizing our wax crayon and paper on our gel press, tore those into smaller pieces, and just randomly glued them to create some variant in color and design or marking. The pieces that I pulled the raw umber with, or the initial pull of the gel press, is where these dark images originated from. So let's get all of those laid down and we'll allow those to dry and then just trim around the outside edge. I'm using just a piece of watercolor paper and I'm utilizing that because it accepts the moisture of the glue quite well, much better than, than just, I suppose you could use poster board, anything you want, but that's that was my choice. And now to add a little bit of gesso, I make my gesso, so I'll try to link the description or that video up above to share with you the recipe that I use for it. I am just stirring this up with a, with a stick that I have left over from a previous project and just utilizing my fingers to smear that around. And I always like to add things in odd numbers and one didn't seem like enough, so we'll go with three, and I think I, I wind up putting this gesso in about five different locations on the master board. And utilizing my finger for, for my paintbrush. Now let me just allow that to dry a bit, and then I'm gonna scrape off a little bit of that gesso, tone it down just a bit right there in the center. And there, I think we're, we're getting a pretty good start for a master board. This is the first master board I've ever created. I, I've not done them before. I know that a lot of people utilizing the, utilize them when they make artist trading cards, and I think that's a great idea. So I am finalizing this and creating some artist trading cards. Pulled out a script stamp and I'm just stamping in random places. And now I think I'll pull in just some um, numbers and add add some numbers randomly throughout as well. And I'm using just a black archival ink. I'm just stamping that three in random pieces. And I think I'll come back with a zero and add that zero onto the three. It's a, it's a small stamp, so it's not creating a a tremendous amount of value here, but we'll go with it. And this little acrylic piece just allows me to view what an artist playing card might look like cut out of this. So I've decided to bring in some vintage photo ink, and I am putting that on utilizing just this stencil. So I'm trying to hold the stencil in place to get that image inked on. And I want to use the a light touch so my images underneath this ink will still show. So 
So we're starting to get pretty, pretty full here, in my opinion, but let's just see what some of those artist trading cards are going to look like. And I think we need just a, I, I want to tone it down or um, add some uh, black onto here. So I'm grabbing a stencil, putting some black paint, and I have run out of those little cosmetic foams, or I thought I had. I actually found a whole bucket of them after I had used the baby wipe to do this. So I'm just adding some black through this stencil. Going to ink around the outside edges. And I think that one piece of black I got was a little too intense. So I'm going to come back with some gesso over the top of it. And that puddled up a little bit, which was an accident, but I like the way it looks. So we're staying with it. And a little more gesso down here. That one brown edge seems to be a bit too much. And I think we're good. So I'm going to take the master board to my cutter, cutting tool, or my cutting board. And I'm just measuring two and a half inches in width and three and a half inches in length. And those will become the substrate or the basis for my artist playing card. Let's just get these cut and we'll take a look at what we have or what our end result is in chopping up this master board. And probably a good idea would have been to scan that master board and then I can use it over and over again as backgrounds by printing it, but I did not do that. So this will be one of a kind artist trading cards that we're creating with one use of a master board. And I have eight. So not bad for an afternoon. Just going to use that black ink to ink around the edges of each. And then we will pull in some bits of fabric, thread to decorate these up. I want to add some texture to them. I have these sticks left over. I think I'll try at least on one of them. A little stick will wrap it. So there you have the eight, and now just to decorate them, and we'll go through this pretty fast. So I have this gold fabric that's kind of a shimmery fabric. I don't know what kind it is. It's probably just a polyester. I picked it up at a thrift store in a packet of fabric. So we'll strip it down into little strips. I'm not going to use all of those, but I thought while I was at it, I might as well get it done right. So I'm going to wrap this stick with that gold fabric. And I think that will look good sitting on one of these cards. And I have just some threads out of other fabric that I am going to wrap around that and kind of hold, hold that in place, tie it off in a little square knot. This is a little piece of canvas type material that I had stained and used in the Moments Forgotten book. So it's just some remnants of scrap from that project. We'll glue that down, lay our stick on top of that, little dabble of glue, and we'll just jumble up some threads. And I think that makes a nice little ATC. 
So we'll continue on with all of our little scraps. And just the random things that, that I keep in this little container. You can see that container sitting on my left. I When I finish a project, I the leftover stuff, I just kind of jumble into that and pull that out when I'm working on something else that I think those scraps might be useful with or in or for. And these are all just random pieces of fabric, random pieces of thread. There's some little um, gears, little metal gears that have come from previous projects. And I am just going to lay those on top of these ATCs in a configuration that looks good to me. I even use a, a black paper clip from a previous project. There's one of those little gears. I'm just tying some string off on the edge of it. I'll get that glued down and we shall continue. So once again, we started with this master board created out of episode six, wax crayon resist printing and created eight artist trading cards. And here are the eight cards that we came up with or that I created utilizing the rest of my scraps and so forth. So I hope that you're inspired to get your master board created. And once again, my name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will share your master board in the Facebook group Two Old Crows Mixed Media. That link is below. Cindy has an event going on right now in the group for master boards. So hop over, share with us what you're doing. Bye for now.